Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is our fifth video as part of our series on Tally's latest release 5.0. And this is going to be the part two of the connected GST feature, which is the major feature that constitutes release 5.0. In the last video, we saw how we can create a party master ledger just by specifying their GST in and fetching the data through online GST connected environment. So in this video, we will see how you can download the relevant forms and reconcile them to make sure that the vendor has uploaded their invoice so that you can claim input tax credit without impacting your cash flow. So let us go to Tally and explore the feature of downloading GST return form from GST portal. Let me log into my GST account. So in the last session we saw how you can set up your GST username under F11. Once you set up the GST username under F11, then you can just click on exchange, click GST login and it will straight away ask you for OTP request. So click on OTP. So I'm going to get the OTP on my registered mobile number and also on my email. So I've received my OTP on my mobile. So it is 917810 enter and it says GST session logged in successfully. So once you log in, the GST session will remain logged in for the next six hours. After six hours, it will automatically get logged out and you have to re-log in again if you want to get connected to GST online. Like I mentioned in this video, we will see how are we going to download the written forms from the GST portal. See, normally you need GSTR 2A and 2B for reconciling your purchase entry or invert supply entry that you have accounted and make sure that the other party that is your vendor is uploaded the invoice through their GSTR 1 or if they are covered under e-invoicing, obviously the invoices will get reflected in your 2A and once the return is filed as per the due date, you will get the information in 2B also. So the important thing is 2A and 2B for you to make sure that you are safe with your input tax credit availability so that you don't have constraint on your cash flow. Apart from that, you can also download your GSTR 1 return that you have already filed and also GSTR 3B which you can reconcile with your uploaded information with the information that is currently available on your system. So that way you will make sure that there is no modifications or corrections which has taken place and those have not been updated appropriately. So that is how you can download all these four forms GSTR 1, GSTR 3B, 2A and 2B. So let us see how are we going to download. So click on exchange so you have this download gstr written so when you click here on gstr written now this is for karnataka registration i have only one registration and this is my live data so you will see here the written type it says gstr 1 2a 2b and 3b and by default you can download six months return so that is how you will see that tally is displaying from april to september in this video i will show you how you can download gstr 2a and see how we can reconcile with the data that is captured in my books of accounts and also the data that is available on the portal in my GSTR 2A uploaded by my various vendors. You can download from here also or you can directly go to the form and then download. So let us go to GSTR 2A. So I'm going to click on go to and just type 2 and you have this GSTR 2A reconciliation, click on this. So you will see here that for the month of August, I have accounted nine vouchers as my invert supply. This is the total value of my invert supply and the breakup of my input credit that I've accounted for. So now I have to, so we are seeing the month of August, which means for the month of August, all the suppliers have already filed their GSTR 1 and GSTR 3B also filed as per the due date. So now I'm going to download GSTR 2A and cross check with my 
entries and see what are the entries which are matching or what entries that I have captured in my books of account and the vendor is not uploaded. Now we come here, click on exchange. Now click on download GSTR return. By default, it is going to select all the return. So we can come down here to configure and under the return type, click here and we can select all return or any other return. So we are going to select GSTR 2A enter so it's asking you do you want to select any other i can select anything else i want but then right now i'm going to select only gstr 2a and actually you know when you get connected you can download your gstr 1 if you are a monthly return filing person uh, i fall under uh, qrmp with iff so i can't check my gstr 1 on a monthly basis and i can't check gstr 3b also on a monthly basis because i'll be filing my gstr 3b for second quarter by 22nd of October. So I'm going to say end of list and the return period here, we will download only August month. The return period is August 24th to August 24th. Now you have to just, you can just press escape or press control A, click on download. So now it is downloaded. It says download is successful for the Karnataka registration for the month of August 24th. Press any key. I press enter here and you will notice that the blue data that we are viewing is the invoices that has been imported into tally by automatically downloading from my GSTR 2A from the GST portal. So now I come here and press enter. The black one is my book entry and the blue values are the values that have been uploaded by my vendor. Now for us to do a reconciliation, so basically you will see here on the right hand side button bar, you have voucher wise. By clicking on voucher wise, you can actually see the system reconciled invoices. It will also show you three categories basically. One it will say available only in the book, available on the portal and unreconciled. So when I click on voucher wise, you will see that now what is matched available only in the books available only on the portal and reconciled. So system is now validated this and it is automatically matched all the components of the invoice. And it is now saying that these are the entries that have been reconciled, which are appearing in your book and also in the portal. Now one more thing that you have to uh, basically configure is in case of purchase invoice, we have a field in tally, which is the supplier invoice number, which is the reference number, right? So here by default, it takes the voucher number. If you notice here, it says this party, my purchase voucher number is one three, which is my automatic voucher document number. But on the portal, it says this is the actual invoice number of my vendor, which is his sales invoice. Now for us to view the document number, you have this document number here. Now in case if this document number is not showing, just remember press F12 configure and here you have this option show document number. You have to say yes here and show document date is fine. Now if you want to see the portal value for reconciled voucher. So if you notice here, you have this reconciled voucher, which is our entry that has been made. Now if you press F12 configure and when you click on show portal value for reconciled voucher when you set to yes and save it you will now see the reconciled voucher the entry in my books of account and also the actual entry which is reflecting in on my portal so these are my reconciled voucher press F12 and then you say no and this is show potential mismatch between book and portal so when you come here, press set it to yes and again press control A. So here it is going to tell you the potential mismatch. So in this case, if you notice the voucher number as per portal is this, the same has been entered by me also. Then the document date is also fine. The amount is also fine. Everything is fine here, right? So in certain cases, if the values are matching, the amounts are matching. So you have three more columns to the right. So let us come down here. So the total tax amount, invoice amount, see everything is matching, but it says there is a potential mismatch that is basically because of the, this voucher number and my voucher number is not matching. Whereas document number is matching. Now, since we know that this invoice is available on the portal and also I have accounted. So once we view these kind of potential mismatches that are appearing then you know you can accept them and manually reconcile them since there is no variation so how do we do that just press f12 configure 
and now come down here and then say no potential mismatch viewing press control a and you see here that this party available only in the book it says but whereas it also says here that this party just now we saw that it is showing it is available on the portal it is also accounted by me click on this entry and let us now reconcile manually if you come here on the right hand side button bar you will see this option called set gst status click on set gst status and by default it will be system inferred just press space bar and you have this list of status where you can say exclude mismatched or mismatched is basically for you to do it at a later point in time now since this party the invoice is matching with my book and the portal i am going to now select reconcile and click on reconcile so it is automatically reconciled and you will now see here that it says solutions pro this invoice is reconciled manually this is system reconciled reconciled manually now if you notice you have this section which says available only on portal so which means these are the invoices which i have not accounted in my books of account whereas my vendors have already uploaded their invoice so with this information i can go and update my invoices also so this is how basically you will reconcile each voucher that you have entered and most of the cases it will reconcile automatically through system but wherever there are exceptions like i explained in this case the voucher number and this voucher number is not matching that is why it is coming to mismatch which we have to manually reconcile and any vouchers or invoices which are available on the portal if you have not entered you can make those entries and these are the reconciled entries so when you press escape so you will see here there are 17 vouchers but whereas i have accounted only 9 this exercise will definitely help all businesses to make sure that they are not suffering with the cash flow problem it's a very handy thing the way we saw the reconciliation that we did in 2a you can do it on 2b also 3b and gstr1 like it mentioned i am under qrmp so i am not able to download my gstr1 for the month of august and 3b also i have not filed gstr1 or gstr 3b i would request all of you who are under the monthly scheme to download these four forms and then verify or reconcile so that you are very clear that you are completely compliant and there is no issue with the data that is available on the portal and also the data that is available with your books of accounts i hope this video would have helped you to understand how you can download the written form including your written form that is gstr1 and gstr 3b in fact the gstr 3b you can't download from the gst portal also tally is gone one step ahead and they are providing you the facility to download your gstr 3b also so thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much